Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. Hello everyone and welcome to Amnesia a Machine for Pigs. This is the second Amnesia game, I believe. I believe the controls will be pretty much the same, but the story is going to be completely different. We have awoken. Graphics look improved from the last game. Oh shit, where do we go? Ah, I might have made this one too dark. <laughs> oh! Oh, there are different icons. That's cool. Oh my! June 24th, 1899. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The foetid heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there. A rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell its, its endless hunger. I fear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. My desperate thoughts? What desperate thoughts are these? Pig mask. Daddy, Daddy, find us. Oh, wow. A fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound with children playing is like a dark and beckoned sepulcher, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam, where surely only bodies may be found. No matter. My children call, and I shall answer. I will find them. There's going to be a lot of, like, old English involved in this, like the last game, so I'm not going to be able to read everything. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Huh. 
what is this? Why are there... Is that a normal thing to put bars around a bed in the 1800s? Fuck. I'm not sure what to expect on this game. Uh, this seems nice though. Seems like I just woke up in my house. I have a nice little house, apparently. So we said something about the attic. This way. Yes, I was correct. The attic. We shall go there. Ah, yes, we can still run. Attics and nurseries. But they slept in the attic when they were babies in arms, and perhaps they have hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it, midway between my bedroom and my office. So, a room in between my bedroom and my office, I guess? That's where the key will be, I'm assuming. This is a bathroom. Anything in here? Ah, uh, yes. I'm a single father. Again, what is this? Oh, that's my room. Wait, my wife and I had different rooms? to get down there does it that doesn't involve me like trying to poorly parkour my way down Wait, does my character have a ne amnesia in this one? Because...
small room right there. It's weird. Huh. How do I access my inventory? Am I stuck? be like missing something here. At least I'm not afraid of the dark in this game. Fantastic. I can't even jump down there. This is fucking stupid. Oh, for fuck me.
Oh, come on. I think I was supposed to see that or something. There's a bad man coming. No, there's just an angry father. Bit of an upgraded lantern. Edwin and Enoch's diary, October eleventh, eighteen ninety-nine. Daddy says there will be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work before she wakes us, and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. Later, we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. And then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd be crying again. another pig mask over here. What is... Do I not have an inventory? We're hiding, Daddy. I noticed. Another pig mask. Okay, I get it. The pig mask is important. Christ. Understand, of course, where the mistress sent me, that they have concerns. Which one of those voices is mine? Well then. There's a rifle back there. 
gee, I wonder if that pig mask is important. Is that a lock? November 7th, 1898. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep, once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, that my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What, that I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied, without pay, without tire? By adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills. But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. Yeah, which rifle? Yellow. Uh, precious eagle. What the fuck? Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit? What is that, some kind of code? Oh, hello. Oh, that was that door behind me. Okay. Is that pig mask always there? clockwork in the soul. Replacement is this fat, dis dissatisfactory, so like a pump. Better than the intestinal canal, like a tapeworm, already hosting intrusion in the breed. Brass, better than copper, more resistant. Filament sewn to bone, cold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement, straightforward, will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects will require severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn. Damn it. Damn this wretched soul. If only it were clockwork. Oh, that's not disturbing. This dawning epoch. This age of reason. An empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding.
Some creep has been watching everyone in the bathroom. I'm not sure what that did, but okay. Oh. In Lily's honor, a banquet. We will fasten that great mouth down over the chimney and inhale the world and suck the fairies and the nonsense clean from your dirty heart. That is the weirdest thing I've ever read aloud before in my life. Excuse me. Typically when they tell you how to run in these games, it means you want to run. Edwin and Enoch's Diary, October 3rd, 1899. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide-and-seek with Cook, and he came and shouted at us, just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always let us po help polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They are often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. Must be some sort of locking mechanism. This way, Papa. Come and see. Weeping rooms, where once we sat to weep Lily's passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe, the children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge there. Ew, so I watched my wife taking baths through those secret paintings. My name is Oswald? Grand Hall, that voice on the telephone, he speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I am. T they seem to remember him, like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man, grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark, if I can only find the entrances. Dark hallway. No, oh, thank you. Another long dark har hallway. Not uh, gonna happen. Ah, 
Yeah, of course. Sound like quite the entertainment. I don't speak German. I don't know what that says. bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from my trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lul Lulabeth, my father's house has many rooms. And as for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. I wish I had a mansion with secret rooms, that'd be cool. Rather advanced machinery in here. Not that way. December twentieth, eighteen ninety nine. I am a, I am to have a visitor, the distinguished professor, Professor A. He is come to assert, ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. Find how he comes to me to doff and wheedle my and my dear sir and but you must still grieve and perhaps just a quick look at your engines the triumph of the age he knows nothing of loss nothing of sacrifice 
but to refuse, they would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tripery, see whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily viv vivisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. That's a lot of blood. something down there, I guess. Uh, whatever. Oh, maybe I can go down there? Anyways. children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? Seriously, who puts this over their bed? Huh. 
jump over here. Oh, I guess I only have a certain amount of time to answer that. I am often lucky. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none at all. say I'm quite interested in the story. It's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. A curious discovery. Middle ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards. Delighted in their discovery. Or, well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. The Dark Descent? Oh, wow. What do I have all these secret passages for? Well, this has been a pretty eventful episode. I'll end this one right here. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.